going to start by looking at one of the words on that on this page here, and it's that word. Do you know what that word is? Oh, eggs. Excellent. So I'm going to spell out that word eggs right here, okay? E double G S. Okay, who can tell me what eggs mean? What are eggs? Justin. What are eggs? What are they? Chicken eggs. That's right, and, yeah. and I think in the picture down here you can see the eggs where they, where they finally hatch. That's E double G. What is that word? Egg. There's a difference. What is the difference between eggs and egg? The difference between Sarah. E double G S and E double G. What's the difference? What's the difference? Ah. Oh, that's a nice way of saying it. Because there's a lot of eggs down in this picture. It's not just one egg. And that's why the author wrote the word e double -G -S instead of just e double -G. Well, that, that's a good thing to know, that that's something that you can do. I can show the fact that this word eggs is built on, on that word by making what I call a word sum. Watch this. I put a plus sign and then the S. Because... The word eggs is actually built on this base. There's a base, E double G, for egg. But if I want to change that to mean more than one, like you just said, I add this S, and then I rewrite those parts together as E double G S. So that way I, I can build on a base. Okay? So th there's another word on this page. That has an S on the yeah. end too. Can you if see it? If S means more than one chick, what is the base of chicks? Chick. Okay, yeah. and I'm going to spell it out. Ready? You can spell it with me if you want. C H, and we looked at the word chicks, and both of these words had a base word, and they both use something that we fixed to the end of the base word. What did we fix to the end of the base word? What letter did we put on the end of that word? That's right. So it seems like I put S's at the end of the word, and you, somebody said a great thing. They said you add an S means what? Sarah, what did you say before? What does an S mean on the end of a word, darling? That's right. It's with something called a matrix. Now, a matrix is kind of like a word sum at the start because 